Hi everyone, this is Dr. C, and now we're going to search using our Firefox web browser. I have it loaded. I'm on the home page. It is my home page. It doesn't have to be yours. You could always type in google.com to get here. Let's say we want to find a restaurant. You can see I've already pulled some of these up, right? But we'll just say I want a restaurant. And it starts showing me some, but oh my gosh, I'm looking at 1,880,000,000 uh, hits, right? <laughs> that's different instances of things to look at. And that's way too much, right? Uh, there aren't that many restaurants, by the way. That just means people are talking about the subject. So now I'm going to say near me, all right? And because it knows where my location is, near me works. If it didn't work, I could put in an address, or I could put in a city. I could say Denver, Colorado, right? And it's going to show me restaurants in Denver, but it doesn't know what region, doesn't know what type of food. So if I wanted a different type of food, let's say I wanted, um, I see fish there. Why don't we say breakfast, right? <laughs> That's something that you can only get usually certain times of day unless you have a 24-hour restaurant. So now we're seeing 2,180,000 hits. But what if I wanted uh, reviews from just the last week, right? I'm going to click the tool symbol here. Do you see it in the upper right, right below the magnifying glass? I'm going to click on it. And right now it says anytime this drop down, but I'm going to click on that and say, what about the past week? Now I could do the last 24 hours, but people really have to be talking about food, right? But let's go for the last week. It starts to show me some options, but I've lost my counts, right? I don't see the total number of hits anymore. So let me hit tools again, and you can see 111,000 of these pages are talking about reviews of restaurants the best breakfast restaurants. <laughs> well, this has been a quick look at a Google search. I'm Dr. C, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.